when I'm putting together a, a, a class, one of the things I teach them in the beginning of the quarter is how to revise a poem. I try to mimic the steps of revision. We need to make sure that the poem has accessibility first. Now, after that, uh, we need to make sure that the poem has a conflict. In a half second of unopened mail, you're still heart beating, circulating, still breathing. I open the message, fourth time this year. <laughs> is feeling a conflict between um, the fact that all of the emails have this kind of uh, bland, uh, repurposed message. A fourth thing we get to, which is very, very important, is the language. You know, uh, is the rhythm working? Uh, is this diction right? When we also get to the form of the poem. Um, so often when we're writing poems, we are in our own headspace and we're writing from our own culture and our own experiences that it's good to get um, some other brains in there and kind of help you get out of that. Don't treat your poem like your baby, right? You have written a poem, the object of that poem, um, the object for you should be to make a good work of art. And if you treat it like a baby that's yours and cannot be criticized, you will not make it a good work of art. The larger your reading base is or your reader base is, um, the more like small uh, little nuances in your poetry, um, they might notice that someone else with a different background may not have noticed. Um, having people kind of try to decipher my poem in front of me really um, lets me get into the reader's mind and know how the reader's thinking so that way I can write a better poem for the reader. You are learning about the insides of literature. We often come in literature classes to literature from the outside. Uh, what is the symbol here? What is uh, the, the story saying? This way, we're looking from the inside. Why did the writer write this? And what effect was the writer trying to get? If you're looking at a poem, and that poem has great imagery, but perhaps it doesn't have a good last line. Perhaps the ending of the poem is a little too expected. It's not surprising enough. Well, if you do that enough and see that enough in your peers' writing, you will remember to be better at that ending in your own writing. I write a lot about um, very contemporary issues or things that are very relative to our age group. And so it helps to have my peers reading my work because it gives me um, a kind of an, another look at something. I recently wrote a poem that was about like, it was about a text message conversation. And so that's something that's very specific to kind of our generation. And so while a professor might be able to appreciate that, it helps to have my peers there to kind of um, have someone else who's kind of immersed in that culture. I would bet that 80 or 90 percent, maybe a higher percentage of the poems that win the Academy of American Poets contest have been through a workshop and have been uh, dramatically improved by that workshop.